Hello, Pisces. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I'll send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Pisces? What is Pisces needing to know at this current moment? Please and thank you. Okay, King of Pentacles. So you guys have some sort of major goal. It looks like some sort of major uh, financial goal of yours that you will be accomplishing with that showing up in your current energy. Some of y'all say it is the actual person, but let's see. What is the current challenge or blockage for Pisces? Nine of Wands. Okay, so you still are holding on to some wounds of the past or some of y'all still feel wounded. And even though you're trying to push yourself back out there, whatever way that may be, you're still needing to heal. Some of y'all have just like pushed yourself back out there without focusing on your healing at all. And you need to prioritize your healing before you just push yourself back out there. Because if you see, it's like people grabbing on to them. I don't know. It's like some of y'all are a little annoyed with the people that you have attracted or the people that you find yourself surrounded by. But the reason why you're surrounded by some people that you're not too happy or pleased with is because you have not prioritized your healing. So the frequency that you're putting out is attracting these type of energies towards you. So that's something that you need to be mindful about. What is the energy coming towards Pisces? What is the energy coming towards Pisces? The Eight of Swords. Okay, we'll see what this is about. What is the energy that Pisces is being guided to release? What is the energy that Pisces is being guided to release? The Four of Cups. And what is Pisces being guided to focus on is the Sun. What makes you happy? What brightens your day? Who is focused on Pisces? The Chariot. Some of you guys, it could be a Cancer in particular. Or it's just someone who does their own thing. Um, the cancer, or the cancer, the chariot is also the emperor in motion, but we'll see who this person is. Okay, what is the advice for Pisces? The will of fortune, everything will be okay. Ten of wands has been coming out for everybody. Thank God it's in a different position for you guys. So overall energy, you guys may feel overwhelmed by all the responsibilities that you may currently have, but it looks like everything is falling right into place for you guys. So some of y'all may have just been like, when, like, where is the end? Where is the end of the tunnel? Because it's like, you've been doing what you need to. Some of y'all have been hustling really hard, but it's like, okay, I can't hustle like this forever. When am I going to catch a break? And it looks like you're about to catch that break, especially with the Wheel of Fortune showing up in your advice. Just hold on. Also, learning to work with the universe more. Uh, that's another message with the Wheel of Fortune. So, like, uh, doing moon magic, um, like getting out in nature. It's like working with the universe to manifest what you truly desire to help bring about the big, happy changes that you want to have in your life. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles in your current position. Why is the King of Pentacles in the current position? Which is really good. Okay, Four of Swords and the Four of Cups is one that's to show up as well. Um, some of you guys may have someone popping up. I don't know, because it's look it looks like you're completely surprised by this person. And what's so crazy, like I'm not I wasn't getting like uh someone's energy at all. So this is someone, it looks like like you have not thought about this person in some time or you just were not expecting this person to come towards you, to come forward. Because um, it looks like quite possibly you could have felt rejected by this person at some point. And with the Four of Swords, like you've been healing, um, recharging your energy since the last time you spoke with this person because it looks like it's someone that you haven't been in communication with for a little minute what is this person's intentions towards pisces what are their intentions i'm not gonna take what what is this person's intentions towards pisces five of pentacles and the six of swords 
This person doesn't want to see you move on, but what I don't like about this person is like they know that you're moving on from a difficult situation. You're moving on from the Five of Pentacles. So this is someone who's pretty selfish. Some of y'all it doesn't have to be romantic, but there's someone, whoever this person is, they're pretty selfish. Um, they're only out for themselves. What actions will this person take towards Pisces? Nine of Swords. Uh, and then with it being attached to the uh, Nine of Swords, being attached to the Knight of Swords, because Knight of Swords is all about opportunities coming in. It's all about a change that you've been praying for coming in. But with Nine of Swords, quite possibly this person like... Uh, like tries to talk you out of like opportunities that you should go after um or they put fears into your mind so it's like whenever you come to this person about uh or whenever you come to this person for advice they're like telling you things that make that 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 will make you fearful that will make you not want to chase after an opportunity or what you truly desire to do I don't know, it's kind of weird. Yeah, because Ace of Wands, you have some passions here, but it looks like you allow someone to talk you out of what you should be going after. Let's see, clarify the Nine of Wands. Clarify the Nine of Wands. You don't want to be one of those people, I should have, could have, would have, but I'll listen to someone else. Um, nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So some of you guys are definitely overindulging or partaking in some things that are not healthy for you. And it's because you're not prioritizing your healing. It's like you're trying to distract yourself from what you need to heal from. Um, or you're just trying to suppress it in the wrong ways, but this is showing up in your challenge position. The Nine of Cups, uh, when it's in a shadow energy, is about overindulging in things that do not benefit you in any sort of way. Because when you come out of it, you still have to address whatever is hurting you. So someone here is needing to address some sort of uh, pain, some sort of sorrow. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Four of Pentacles and the King of Wands. I like uh, to see that you're embracing this King of Wands energy because the King of Wands is that uh, independent energy. They don't allow people to hold them back. So it's like you, I don't know. It's I'm definitely am getting like you're in a stressful situation. Some of you guys thought that it would have improved at this point. So it looks like you're really frustrated with how something is taking place or how something is unfolding. This is you learning to protect your peace in some sort of chaotic situation. But then after that, the King of Wands, where you basically say, look, I'm going to do what's best for me. I'm looking out for myself because you've been looking out. And Pisces have, you guys have a tendency to do that where it's like, you guys will completely, you guys will forget about yourself completely and prioritize everyone else or everyone else's needs. Because even like, like say when there's a, when you go on vacation with people, like Pisces are typically the people to put everything together, to organize the entire trip, to do everything, to make sure everyone is comfortable. And you guys, like you guys do that, like, <laughs> like I probably every day, but at some point you guys have to realize to prioritize your own needs as well. And I'm getting like, that's what you're headed towards. You're, and that's what the King of Wands energy is. It's someone who prioritizes their own needs. Let's see. Clarify the Four of Cups as energy that Pisces needs to release. The Star and the Three of Cups. Um, I don't, and did you guys have this message earlier? Who was that? Someone had this message uh, earlier where is someone here, is you healing from some relationships where you felt rejected by people that should have been uplifting you, people who should have been celebrating you, people who should have been uh, supporting you, but instead like you felt rejected by these people. 
Um, it's you finding your way. You healing and finding your way. And realizing that you never needed some people in the first place. Clarify the chariot as the person who is currently focused on Pisces. Eight of Wands, okay. I definitely am getting that as someone new. Yeah, because Three of Pentacles. Be, some of y'all may be meeting this person at work, but it's definitely someone that you will be getting to know. Three of Pentacles is someone that you're going to have to learn about. Um, Eight of Wands, it looks like things may talk, uh, take off pretty fast between you and this person. I'm getting like one thing you'll like about this person is they pretty much just uh, do their own thing. They dance to the beat of their own drum. Um, this is someone like you may feel like they're in control of their emotions. They're in control of themselves. They're very mature. And that's something that you'll really like and respect about this person. This is also someone who's going to respect your boundaries. They'll make that very clear to you. You'll feel like you're a priority to this person as well. I am getting that more than likely you'll meet this person at work. Or while you're working on something, I don't know. Give me one more about this person for Pisces. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, justice. I'm sorry. Definitely someone who uh, is very honest and truthful. Someone who is trustworthy with the uh, justice card showing up as well. Nine of Pentacles. So quite possibly you'll meet this person where you're, uh, when you're doing very well for yourself. Things are going well for you. Um, Nine of Pentacles is typically that energy of not looking for a relationship. And that's because you're doing so well for yourself. Like who needs someone else? And that's when it's like you receive the solid offer. And that's typically how it goes with the Ten of Cups as well. So feeling emotionally fulfilled. Clarify the will of fortune as the advice. Nine of Wands and the Two of Wands. I am getting big, happy changes, Pisces. But the message that I'm getting with the will of fortune, Nine of Wands and the Two of Wands. Um, some of you guys lack faith in the universe itself with bringing big, happy changes to you or just like helping you, um, because I'm getting like, you keep record of all the times that you've been hurt or disappointed, not just by people, but by the universe itself. And it's kind of puts you in this energy of not wanting to like push yourself out there anymore. It's kind of like calls you to go into like hermit mode. Uh, with the two of wands or like you don't want to push yourself to do anything uh, extra anything out the ordinary because you may feel like you were rejected or things didn't turn out as you were expecting you felt hurt by some people the universe so this is you like uh regaining trust in the universe and knowing that the universe is not out to get you it's not out to destroy you but it is out to bring big happy changes in your life and to help you grow. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pull one more message for you guys and we will wrap this up. Final message for Pisces. A fiery climax approaches and it's time to take action. And this is both Aries energy. Um, Whoever it is. Whoever this person is that's coming towards you, this person will take action towards you. I am getting that there will be insane chemistry between you and this person. But this is someone who's going to take the lead on this situation. So if you guys are used to like having to take the lead or like having to coach someone through what to do, you won't have to do that with this person. This is someone who's going to like um, take the initiative to um, get things going between you and this person. That's one way you'll know who this person is. Some of you guys, it could be an Aries showing up as well for you but i'm going to leave it there we got two uh king of pentacles i just realized that i'm going to leave it there these are the messages that came through for you guys at this time please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates with that being said you all take care